Hello, my name is Danny Tuff, and today I'm going to show you how I make starbound animations. There are two methods. Uh, one is rather difficult to set up, but it has a nicer payoff, uh, but it's way more work. The second is kind of easier, but it's it's not as as good effect. They both have good and bad things, but you'll you'll see later. Um, for, as for the first method, uh, you're going to need first you're going to need starbound. And then you're going to have to download this file. Um, this. Once you've downloaded this, you'll get this, um, this file called unpack. What you're gonna want to do is you want to find your. You want to go into your Starbound. You want to go into Win32 and put it in there. Once you've got it in there, you want to double click it. It will do its thing. I mean, it might not look like it's doing anything, but it's doing its thing. Uh, just let it let it do its thing. It'll, when you know, you'll know it when it's done when it's uh, when it's, it leaves. And once it leaves, um, you want to go back to Starbound and then you want to go to Assets and you'll have this new folder called Unpacked. And here is where you have all the Starbound assets unpacked. This includes like um, just like configuration files and most importantly the the, the images. Okay, this bad example. Uh, the reason why that was empty is because I've moved all these to uh, an easier accessible place, which is I would recommend. Um, uh, armors, stuff like that. Um, yes. Yeah, so you'll have your, your files and stuff like that. Now, uh, you can... Now you have the, like, the... Basically the Lego blocks for making your animations or whatever you want to do and you can put it in most softwares and you can fiddle around with them what I would recommend is using Asprite it's the same software that the Starbound developers use Chucklefish um, it's very good I would highly recommend it it's only like $15 it's very good um, and you can it's super easy to use just drag and drop and it's all set to go um, you might recognize, you might see that like the colors are not right. They're like this weird orange. Why? It's something to do with the coding or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but that's that's kind of the problem with this method because uh, you'll see in the other method the um, things will be colored. But for now, you have to color stuff manually. You can mess around with that. Um, I'm not going to show you how to use Asprite like entirely. There's it's, it's something you have to teach yourself or watch tutorials like I, I can't teach you that right now but it's very simple it's a very nice software so you can just make your animations in here uh, I've done uh, something like this in the past um, this where I've just you know it's it's something simple you can just make an animation uh, after I've done this, I usually put it, I grab the file or the animation. Sorry. Oh, well, uh, this is great. I usually export the file. Uh, export a sprite sheet, uh, uh, vertical. Uh, I usually do vertical strip because it's way easier to align. You'll, you'll see why in a second. All right, please. Let me get my file. Okay, okay, here we are. So, I have my... I'm making a new Flash file. Uh, I like to use Flash because it's just something I'm familiar with, but if you have any other animation software, you can probably just use it. I like using Flash because it's very... it's vector-based, which means if I... It, like, pixels won't lose any quality. Because I think it would be the best method if you use Flash, but it's... It's it's a very difficult software to get familiar with, I feel. Um, but if you're just staying out, just take it slow. Um, I'll drag and drop the software and hit like the the sprite animation here. Um, oh, I'm gonna explain this. Uh, I recommend. Hang on. Okay, so as you can see, like. Uh, 
it, if we zoom in it's all blurry and it's it's god awful you know you can't do anything with this and it's like what is this it's just, it's just like a spreadsheet nothing re re really we can use so what you want to do is you want to go to bitmap and then well modify bitmap trace bitmap and then you want to set it to one one many corners and pixels um this i don't really need to explain this it's just it'll make it look nice it, it's fine i'd recommend binding that to a key because you'll be doing it very often if you're doing uh like basically any of these kind of methods either method you'll be uh like tracing these bitmaps quite often <sighs> so now i usually um well i just well you saw i just did that i grouped these uh, the object so I, I selected it and then I press control G um, I think you can also select it and then just right click it and then or not you know that's cool too you can also convert it to a s not bad map by convert it to a symbol by F8 and later on then you can fix it it's it's flash you'll you'll learn it the more you do it, um, I'm not a good person to learn Flash from. There are way better tutorials for Flash out there. Um, I'm just showing you how I make these animations. So I make all these into groups, to its own group. Don't put them all in one group file because you'll see why. Um, all right, and then oh yeah, okay. So you saw I did that. I selected all the one, like all of them, except from one at the very top, the very top, and then I, um, I cut them. And then I add a new frame by pressing F seven, and this makes an like a, a new clean frame. And then I paste in place, so it's continuously going. Like um, it's it's very difficult to explain, but if you if you're observing what I'm doing then you can you hopefully you can understand and then I, I'll just continuously do this until I have all the frames down um, if you're wondering why this character has no head that's usually because I like to animate the head separately in uh, flash so it can look up and down because in Sprite, whenever you try to do that the head gets very mangled so okay so we have all these so it's, it's still the same animation it's just going down which we don't want which is fine because what we'll do is we'll select this onion skin which will allow us to edit multiple frames at once. We want to set it so we can select all the frames. Then you select all the frames. Or you can press Control A, so you just select everything in the, you know, everything on the page. Um, then you want to go to a line. Um, this, like my layout will more than likely look different to yours um, because I've made mine kind of, because I put stuff where I like to put it. Uh, if you can't find a line, it would you can get it up by just going to window and then pressing a line. It's easy as that. Um, so once you've got it up, you want to. I don't know which one is it? All right, you don't want this. You don't want you want this unticked for now. Um, and I believe you want this one. Okay, so it'll drag everything down to the bottom. Right. Oh no. Okay. So. Now we have everything like condensed in this one one little area, and uh, the reason why I wanted uh, the bottom aligned is because the bottom is the one part that stays the same. Like it's um, like if a character was jumping, it would be a whole different story. You'd probably have to manually align it, um, but since this is just character standing still, it's not that big of a deal. Or if a character was walking, it'd be the same case. So now. If we play the animation, the character does the animation. I hope this explains this well enough. I, I really do. 
Um, but yeah, that's basically the gist of how I make like my starbound animations. It's very roundabout, but it works. Um, yeah. So I guess that's for that's the 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 first method. Now the second method is it's much easier, but it's much more roundabout. Um, you're gonna have to download. Uh, it's it's this right? It's this thing called Arm Review. It's a very outdated mod, and it's not perfect because the person that last updated it hasn't updated it in like years. But I still use it because it's still very good. Um, you want to download the file. You'll get a file called Arm Review, and it will look. Come on now. It'll look something like this. It'll just be full of a bunch of junk that you don't understand. It's it's fine. You don't need to. Unless if you want to have, add custom races. But at that point, that's something you'll have to mess around with yourself. Because I don't know a damn thing about this. Well, I do, but I don't know enough. So, once you have that downloaded, you're going to have to download a specific version of Love. Love is another software that requires it. All of these links will be in the description because... Dear God, you will need these. You're gonna have to download um, Win32 or Win64 of 0 0.90. Right, make sure it's like one of these. Right, so once you have that downloaded, you'll have a file called, you know, Love.9. It'll be on your desktop. Well, you'll put it wherever you put it, and it'll look something like this. Then, right, you want to grab Arm Review and you want to put it over on top of this application file. Right? And it will say open with, okay? You don't want to put it on top of the icon because sometimes it will look like the icon, but you want to put it on top of the, the application file. Once you do that, this will happen. And then it will ask you to um, initialize Arm Review. Please locate the main loop. Right. Then you want to press that. And now you want to find Armor View. You want to find that folder Armor View. So you have to navigate through your files, uh, desktop, and then Armor View. Then you want to locate main Lua. And then once you have that, you have it. Okay. Now, here you have, you know, you have all the races. You can also add custom races, but as a whole nother beast. Maybe that's maybe that could be a tutorial for another day, but like this, as, as you can see again, it's this it's this orange color that's like their default color. But with this, you can actually change it, so you can have all that. There are many things that are not good with this mod. Well, not this mod, but this application. Like you can't do hair, you can't do gills, you can't you know you can't do you know most stuff with hair, like head stuff. Um. You can do animations, you can, you can preview these animations, and I'll show you how you can use these layer, but for now, just pause it. Okay, so now you have these these three things, you know, legs, chest, and head, right? So now, it like, um, this is where it becomes like, really good. You want to select legs, well, you want to select either one, any of these, and you want to locate your... Oh no. Okay, hang on, we missed a step. <laughs> Um, you're gonna want to locate. Gosh darn it! Okay, you want to locate. You want to go back to your um, unpacked folder, and you're gonna want to get armors. You just want armors, and you want to. I need to rename this because <laughs> uh, I already have an armor on my full on my thing with a bunch of my custom armors on it as well. Um, so you, you want to take this and put it somewhere really easy accessible, like your desktop. You don't want to have it in your Starbound files. Just tear that out of there. It doesn't matter what you do with these Starbound files. Like, it won't mess up your game or anything like that. If uh, the file's unpacked, it's just some of that's being exported somewhere else. It's not... You won't, you won't be able to edit stuff live like that. At least I hope not. Good. Um, so you have this folder. You have a bunch of armors in this folder. You have tons you have you know every single thing in your in your game now keep in mind that you you might have to update your 
files every now and again if you want like new clothing and stuff like that. Um, also, then that's another thing of like you want to keep in mind that you might actually overwrite your old clothing that you might have liked or something like that. Because sometimes chucklefish like to remove clothing or items or something like that. So now, okay, so you want to bring back love. Anyone select a just select one of these, and then you want to find your armor, your armor folder. Oh, you want to, yeah, you want to select your armor. Nope, armor folder, armors, and then you want to select a, to go into a, a folder, whichever clothing you're looking for. So. If I'm making an avian adventure, I'm going to select the avian adventure clothing and then you want to switch it on. Make sure you do that. So now the character's wearing this. Now, again, it, the cat, like the, it's all orange and bad, but thankfully, with this uh, software, we can, we can change the color and have like, there are only a few colors. Like, after a while, it just turns back to orange because there's only a specific amount of colors. I don't know. I don't know why. I think you can add more if you if you're good with programming and stuff like that. But I'm not. I'm I make do with what I have, and you can do this for all the clothing. Um, but you won't have to. You won't have to find the folder every single time. It won't be this roundabout. It's only for the very first time when it becomes this roundabout. Once you've got everything set up and down, like I don't want to turn this on. So like, let's say, oh, I didn't want the uh, the crew like the buccaneer chest. If I select again, it'll be right back where I, you know, selected it. It'll be at the book in a chest. And then I say, uh, oh, I wanted the cowboy one instead. And it's that easy. So I can just change the color. Yeah, variety of colors. Um, so yeah, that's that. But that's not where it ends. Um, yeah, you have this nice little preview. I guess it's good for like previewing your armor and stuff. But if you're doing animation like me, um, this is yeah, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Um, you're gonna need a, you can either print screen or you can use snippet. Sorry. Um, I'd recommend using snippet because you can select a smaller area instead of having your entire screen. So, right. Oh, okay. So once you have like a little snippet, you're gonna wanna take it back to Flash. Let me just. Get rid of this. Then you want to paste it in, and as you can see, like it's um, it's still all blurry and bad. So you want to do like um, you want to trace it again, bitmap trace, one by one, all that, and then you want to get rid of the black, and it should work. If not, um, there are cases where it will not work, and that is mainly that could be because if you're in Action Script three. I'm not sure why it does this, but in Action Script 3 and Flash, it will just mess it up. So you want to make sure you're in 2. So, yes. You have this, and you have, like, your own file. Problem is with this, uh, it's, you know, if you have multiple files, like, if you go to the next frame. And this. Come on. Copy, and then, you know. Make a new frame, and then trace this one again. Like, they they won't be aligned entirely. Like, you'll have to align them manually or using the align tool. And it can be kind of annoying, but it, it does save a lot of time, you know, because you won't have to manually color every single file. But also, as well, you won't be able to uh, do custom animations with this, I don't think. And I haven't tried yet, but... This is this is just how I do it. Um, so yeah, I, I mainly use this for like walking animations or jumping and stuff like that. Just animations that I can't really, yeah, animations that I don't have to do manually or like custom 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 animations. So that's pretty much it. I think that's like those are the two methods. That's how I do animation. Um, from here, you can just do whatever you want. You can add your own backgrounds. I usually just take a screenshot from in-game and then put it in the background. Um, at this point, you just have to learn Flash and Esprite. And I mean, I've showed you everything that is, you know, that would be confusing or stuff like that. So, um, I hope this wasn't too long. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this, 
um, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I've added a bunch of new rewards. And uh, I'll see you next time.